Hi, good morning. And this is Lee with Love. I usually burn uh, ancestor money. So I am going to burn ancestor money a little bit later. But I wanted to talk about detachment. Detachment is it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing because you always feel like you're a part of something. Or you're a part of a family. Or you owe someone something because you've been together so long. And it's like, no. No, you don't it's like it's okay to detach detach is to tear away from a part of something like you can be a part of a group you can be a part of the family you can be a part of an organization or anything you could be a part of it but then you you have to detach sometimes you just have to detach just to make your life easier or better and it's like you don't want to detach but sometimes in order for you to grow, in order for you to become better at what you want to do with yourself, with your life, you have to learn detachment. That comes also with relationships. You know, we always get into relationships and you want to be with the person, but and then the person doesn't treat you right or they, they're always causing problems, chaos, making you cry, making you upset, making you feel bad about yourself. I mean, nothing wrong with you. There's <laughs> something wrong with that person. And you have to learn to detach. Like, you don't have to stay with that person. Like, you can leave them. <laughs> you can leave them alone. You're not obligated to them. You don't owe them anything. If you don't have children, it's so much better because there's nothing keeping you together. There's no reason why you have to speak. And sometimes, sometimes, you can be married and you can have children and, you know, you still have no relationship with the person because you detached from them or they have no, they don't want parts and it's okay. You know, you do everything on your own, but you have to learn to detach from a situation so you don't keep falling into the same situations. Like, you have to know your worth. You have to know that, you know, I don't deserve this. Like, I deserve better than this. I want more for myself. And you detach, and it's okay. You can have family, you can have friends, you can have your mom. You know, they can not care or not treat you right. It's okay to cut them off. It's because it your life is gonna change like everyone's life is gonna change and it's gonna get better and it's like you cannot have people that are not making your life better they're not making your life easier that don't really care about you you cannot have these kind of people around you so the easiest thing to do is to detach you learn to detach and you don't have to feel bad you don't have to feel bad because you don't fuck with these people like just let it go and think about your own life, your own future, your own, like you have so much you want to do, so much you want to accomplish and these people are holding you back and you don't have to feel bad if you walk away from them, you leave them the hell alone. Like, I just wanted to talk about detachment real quick because detachment is a thing. You don't owe anybody anything. You're not obligated to anyone. You're not stuck with a certain kind of person because if they're not doing what they're supposed to the minimum is be an honest truthful person person that's the minimum <laughs> you know nobody asking you for nothing and you can't even be honest you can't even be truthful you can't even be trusted so it's like what are you doing with this person ask yourself that um i was just talking about detachment you're not obligated to stay with someone or in a situation that is not making your life better like you can leave and it's okay to leave to detach it can be your family it can be friends it can be whatever situation it is if it's not helping you it's not making your life any better why are you there <laughs> why are you staying like why why are you putting yourself through through that, being upset, being aggravated, being annoyed, being bothered, being all these kind of ways. And you don't have to be feeling like this. Like somebody should not make you feel like this. If that person is meant to be in your life, they are not gonna make you feel like that. 
they're not going to make you tired of dealing with them. Like, no, like if someone is meant to be in your life, you're going to always want to talk to them. You're going to always want to be with them. You're going to always want to spend time with them and tell them everything. And then once people start hiding things, lying and just, just doing the most, <clears throat> you don't need them. <laughs> and it's okay to cut them off and not care. It's okay life goes on there are other people this world is full of people new people good people <laughs> all kinds of people and you can and you can be happy <laughs> you don't have to be upset or mad or you know these people make you feel all kind of ways and it's like you know what I don't want to feel like this anymore like I don't want to be around you anymore like I don't want to talk to you like I don't want to be your friend like I'm, I'm good <laughs> I'm good I gotta go okay <sighs> I was talking about detachment detachment detaching from people learn how to detach from things people places things situations so your life is easier because you're not bringing this people into your life and all they do is cause you problems and make you mad upset and take your money and it's like yo like i'm so <laughs> no don't do it to yourself like we're only getting older and then it's like you have to think how can i make my life a little bit better easier at peace you take away you detach from what is upsetting you like what is bothering you what is not helping you what is not serving you what is it release what doesn't serve you release it let it go and don't ever take it back that's it i'm going 6 50 all right always lead with love stay positive stay positive vibe high always stay positive don't be negative negative negativity is the lowest vibration you can ever have it's the lowest vibration you can work out of jealousy hate envy is the lowest vibration so it's like you have to raise your vibration you have to be loving caring giving and that's how things change you know you have to turn good <laughs> you have to turn good so that your life can get better and blessings can come in because blessings are from god god blesses you the devil's not gonna bless you whoever you pray to is not gonna bless you like blessings come from god and you have to be thankful to god like that's my belief you know but you always have to be thankful grateful humble you can't be full of yourself I'm saying all this stuff because you know we all go through things we all go through hell and it's because we have to change our way of thinking like you cannot be a certain kind of way fully yourself because nothing's gonna come to you that way like everything can go good one minute but it won't last it won't be there you have to have a good heart a clean heart you have to be positive you have to help others you have to care but then at the same time you have to learn who to stay away from and who not to keep around you you have to learn how to detach detachment is important um, I'm just talking about that now but to stay high in high vibrations stay in a high vibration leave with love and I'll come back later <laughs> bye